Hey y'all, I'm Hummy from Hummy's World, and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to fix both yellow and red eyes. Now we're going to fix the yellow eye first. Um, yellow eyes, uh, sometimes they're called kind of greenish eyes, happen in dogs, and uh, this is my dog Abby Ray. And this photo was taken with my old camera some time ago and when we zoom in you're going to see it's kind of really pixelated it's not as good of a photo as um, some of my other photos um, everybody on the internet uh, seems to be copying the same technique from one or two tutorials out there um, for fixing the what they call it demonic yellow eyes I don't like that term though um, and uh, I'm going to show you a different way that I prefer to do it. Uh, most people are uh, using the magic wand selection tool and you know getting um, the yellow onto a new layer and changing uh, that color uh, using a brush but um, the reason I don't like to do that is because you'll see when we zoom in this yellow is made up of many different little uh, pixels of a variety of yellow colors and the reason for that is that you know we have many different shades of gray and black in our eyes that um, we need to keep that uh, to keep the photo realistic we don't want to just take a black brush and you know paint over that yellow and make the whole thing uh, black um, even uh, using um, the diff the uh, what what is it that the darken um, seems to uh, do that and so uh, here's how I would suggest that you fix these yellow eyes on uh, the dog and that is to use a new adjustment layer for hue and saturation and um, just go ahead and bring the slider all the way down uh, for saturation um, to take out all of the color because um, we the middles of our eyes are shades of gray anyway and then um, we're also going to be adjusting the lightness and I'm going to take it down just a, a little bit for now but we'll probably play with that and change it later. Now you can see it's turned my whole photo um, black and white and um, we want this to just apply to the eyes. Well that's because of this layer mask. The layer mask is white. We remember that white re, uh, reveals and black conceals. And so since the whole thing is white it's uh, revealing this change to the entire layout. So let's make the layer mask black very quickly so that it doesn't apply to any of this photo simply by making the layer mask active by clicking on it and hitting control I on the keyboard. Now you can see we're back to normal for the photo. Um, click on this layer mask, make sure it's the active layer, get your uh, white because white reveals um, in your foreground color. Choose a brush and resize your brush accordingly so that you can uh, work and zoom into the eye and just paint over the yellow part. Let's make that a little bit smaller. And now you don't want to paint over the white. That's the catch light. The catch light um, uh, is necessary in eyes uh, because um, it makes it realistic. That's uh, the the light that it's kind of a little shine off of um, the lighting, the light source in the room. And so when we zoom back out, we see uh, that just like that, the eye is fixed. And we can zoom back in and do the other eye and just paint over just the yellow. Now as you do do this you can see that it is maintaining a variety of shades 
of uh, gray, which is important uh, for realism. Now let's say I accidentally got too much, um, or I went out here too much, and if you do that you see it makes it black. Then I'm going to just switch my foreground and co background color to black, and I'm going to paint back over that uh, to get that to show again. And then see I got some of that yellow again so I can switch the foreground and background color again and get just the eye. Now you can see how uh, realistic that looks and how quick that is to do. Um, now if the lightness isn't quite right, see if you had the lightness up here you'd see the, the eyes are just too uh, bright. Now the lightness is not right you can slide this back and forth you don't want to get it too dark this is black um, this is what it often would look like uh, in other methods you want to just slide this back and forth until you get it to where your dog's eyes look natural and that's it and you could actually do it very fast much faster when you're not um, talking and describing things